Hello everyone, my name is Bobby and I work at the Genome Institute of Singapore. I want to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to present Dubstepper, a correlation-based feature selection method for clustering single cell RNA sequencing data. Heterogeneity in single cell RNA sequencing data is conventionally characterized by unsupervised clustering, which has a, new, a number of steps which are still being developed. We decided to focus on feature selection, that is, selecting the optimal set of genes to separate cells into distinct clusters, because it is a critical and relatively underlooked step. Current methods in the field look at genes individually. So they look at variance to mean ratios of genes, for example, the highly variable genes method, or dropout rates in the context of M3-drop. However, when we analyzed a cell line data set from Tianato, we found that the top marker genes of a cell type tend to be strongly correlated with each other as demonstrated in the gene-gene correlation heat map on the right, while the top, while marker genes of different cell types tend to be negative correlate, negatively correlated with each other. We wondered if we could use this information and thus constructed a correlation range score, which is, which is basically the scale difference between the strongest positive and negative correlations of the gene. Indeed, we found that DE genes or cell type specific genes have a significantly higher correlation range score as compared to non-DE genes. And the score is also predictive of fold change and Q value of differential expression. Thus, we use this information to build Dubstepper. The first step in Dubstepper is separating genes which have a high correlation range score from those which don't. These genes are then used to construct a gene-gene correlation matrix on which we perform stepwise regression to identify unique patterns of expression. We use a scree plot to determine the elbow point to stop performing regression so that we identify the number of the minimal set of representative genes and use a guilt by association approach to add correlated genes to this feature set to fortify the directions of variation. Finally, we use a novel density index met metric, which measures local neighborhood density to determine the optimal stopping criterion or the optimal feature set size for a data set. We benchmark Dubstepper against seven existing feature selection methods on seven data sets with objective ground truth, that is cell lines of fact sorted data sets spanning four SCRNAC protocols. We quantified performance using Silhouette Index, which measures cluster separation, and AUROC, or area under the ROC curve, for marker gene detection that measures sensitivity and specificity of selecting marker genes in the feature study. In terms of both Silhouette Index and AUROC, we found that Dubstepper does outperform the existing methods. However, the second best performing method in the case of Silhouette Index is the high loading genes method based on PCA, while in the context of the gene detection, it's the new state-of-the-art deviance-based feature selection. Density index that I introduced earlier allow, allows us to optimize this feature set and in five out of the seven data sets that we analyzed, provides an improvement in the silhouette index over the peak that we saw in the previous uh, result. Finally, we can also generalize Dubstepper to SCA taxi data because it's based on correlations, which can be extended from genes to peaks. We compared Dubstepper against the default, which is no feature selection in the field, and an extension of highly variable genes to peaks, which we call highly variable features. And indeed, we find that Dubstepper is able to recapture the differentiation schematic of hematopoietic bone marrow cells much better than the highly variable features or the default in the field. In conclusion, we wanted to pro prove using Dubstepper that pairwise feature correlations contain important information for selecting cell type specific features. We showed that the density index for, uh, pro provided by Dubstepper can be used as an optimal stopping criterion for feature selection. Further, Dubstepper is available as an art package on CRAN and its source code is on GitHub. I would like to acknowledge the lab, especially my PI Sham for his support over the last couple of years, funding from GIS and ISCB, and I thank you for your time. Please check out my poster 
in the poster session and the uh, preprint for dubstepper on my archive.